Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to part 2 of the DIY Leading Edge LED Dimmer. So let's get started. Warning, mains voltage can be lethal and if you're not sure what mains voltage even is, please stop watching this video immediately. For this project I'll be using a Note MCU 8266 in combination with Robotdyne AC Dimmer an 1838B IR receiver and a HLK PM03 AC to 3.3 volts DC converter. It was finally time to solder everything together using the diagram shown on the screen. So when I mounted the AC dimmer and attached some wires to the IR receiver, it was finally time to connect everything together and make sure that it would fit nicely everything uh, go to the proper pins of the ESP and it would all fit on my newly 3D printed case which I will provide a link to in the description. I noticed that the pins of the AC dimmer were horizontal and they needed to be vertical so I went ahead and removed the pins from the dimmer module. Uh, well I started off by using hot air but as you're able to see that wasn't such a good idea since all the soldering mount components fell right off. Uh, so after using a solder sucker and a soldering iron I was finally able to remove the pins and replace them with regular vertical pins. Now due to the tight space inside the case I opted to solder the IR receiver directly to the PCB instead of using a female header to connect the male pins to. Uh, this allows for a very rigid connection. As you would see the uh, IR receiver is going to handle a lot of stresses on the case when you place it around and move it around for it to uh, position properly and uh, to route the wires properly. So I really recommend soldering the pins to the PCB. So after having placed every component onto the 3D printed part and having it secured with an M3 nut and screw, it was finally time to prepare the wires that would forward the AC voltage to the AC to DC converter that is powering the ESP8266 and the dimmer and the IR receiver. Now please make sure that the wires are as short as they can be and expose as little as copper or silver as uh, they would require uh, for operation since that will minimize uh, electricity going through uh, unwanted paths uh, inside the dimmer. And after screwing in all the mains wiring and the output wiring to a uh, trialing or leading edge compatible transformer it was finally time to give my newly created dimmer a test. Now I enabled home assistant to be able to control the dimmer. Uh, I'm doing that with MQTT. Uh, if you still need to know how you can set up such a connection please check out one of my videos. I will uh, make an info card uh, in the description above and as you can see the light turns on and the light is successfully able to dim. Now notice the flickering, that's because uh, in this footage I'm using leading edge dimming and not trailing edge dimming. And when using trailing edge dimming, there is no such uh, flickering. So after uh, you verify that everything is working, we can proceed with the remote. So after opening the serial monitor and pressing some random buttons of an unused remote, we can see that some codes popped up on the screen and after editing the Arduino sketch to match the vendor and code that you received with your IR receiver uh, you can uh, push various other buttons and add various other functions uh, that would map to a different button on that remote for example to um, enable the first set point or to enable the second set point or to dim the light or to brighten the light or to toggle the power of the light and after you've done that then your AC dimmer is complete and you can enjoy your new dimmable lamp. Hey guys this is Tim I hope you liked that video if you want to see more please make sure to subscribe 
Uh, you can also share the video with your friends and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.